Hello, Desert Hills Bible Church. My name is Will Sanderson, and we've been doing these different devotionals throughout the Advent season, highlighting a different uh, famous Advent song and kind of bringing out the lyrics to that and driving that to the scriptures and applying that to our hearts. And the one I want to talk to you about today is, O Come All Ye Faithful. It's probably the song I listen to the most during this season. And it is one of the more repetitive uh, songs that we will sing during this time. But even those phrases that we sing are so helpful for our own hearts and adoration. Uh, that constant refrain of, O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. Church, it's so easy right now in the midst of all of this season of things going on, of parties being had, of food being prepared, of gifts being bought and wrapped and presented and handed out and, and all the chaos to lose sight of Christ. And maybe we even remember the season and we remember the, the point and the, the focus of who Christ is and what he has done, but do we actually take that next step as this song drills into our hearts and actually come and adore him. Not just remember Christ, but adore Jesus for who he is, for what he's done, for his majesty and for his glory. Uh, the scene that is set before us in Luke chapter 2 gives us such a, a wonderful depiction of what that adoration should look like. Luke 2, 13, after the angel has declared to the shepherds that there is a boy born in a manger that they will go and find and that they ought to go and find. Verse 13 says, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. This is the refrain of the angelic beings. This ought to be our refrain as well, and it is a refrain of adoration, of joy, of peace, and of glory ascribed to God in the highest. So in the midst of this season, in the midst of all the things going on in life and in our hearts, let's take time to slow down and genuinely glorify God in the highest. And let us come and adore him, Christ the Lord.